One of the under-discussed aspects of the John Wick franchise is that we pay an enormous amount of attention to the aesthetic and an enormous amount of attention to the wardrobe. And I think Chad Stahelski is the best action director in Hollywood in the last 15, 20 years. And for such a rough and tumble action guy, he appreciates the beauty of cinema and the beauty of the image. And the other move is John Wick is always dressed in black. And Chad wanted to bring light into it. And we have found this material. It's a fabric that has diamond particles inside. And then it makes it have a certain shine. I'm going to kill them all. I believe you'll try. In Shimatsu's world, we tried to put together two ideas, Japan and the countries in the West. That's the reason he wears westernized clothes, but then on top of that, he wears like a haori, that is a traditional Japanese garment. And his haori, we designed it from ideas of the sea that almost is like about to be in a storm. I thought that the metaphor of, of a storm in the sea was like quite good for that. What's this array? Dinner with your daughter. She says she's concerned you've been working too hard. Paco is incredible. What must I have done? And I said to him, I want to make it old fashioned. And Paco was totally on board with that. But what that meant was snatched corsets, <laughs> which was slightly hard to breathe in sometimes. But it's OK, you know, it looks good. It looks good. I made my posture real nice and gave me that concierge feel. She wears like an idea of a kimono, and then obviously she needs to be a fighter as well. So we came up with this idea of having her in this leather bodysuit, but also feminine with a little bit of a skirting. Last I checked, you are excommunicado. Natalia Tena, she brought a lot of energy into the character. I had a completely different idea to show her a little bit more masculine. But then she came into the first fitting and I immediately saw that that wasn't working. And then suddenly we thought it might be better to go the opposite, to make her powerful, but very feminine. When I came in, we had another option and then he just pulled this out of the bag. They just have reams of this. Yeah, great. <sighs> Yeah, I'm looking for a room. Building the tracker's wardrobe, we didn't have really an idea for this guy, you know? We went through a variation of character choices from leather pants at one point to maybe a fedora, and it took some time. The tracker I find very, very interesting character because at the beginning it comes through like a mercenary, but at the end of the movie, all your sympathies go with him because he is somehow very humane. Then I just wanted to reflect that. We wanted to show a person who was a wanderer and he looks organic, like down to earth. Chad had a very clear idea that he wanted the marquee fighter to be in suits with short legs and with boots. And the whole idea was to pretend that these suits were almost like armor, like an old knight. ミルミトンの人たちは砲弾の服は着てるけど、まあ、頭とかは出てるんで、格闘技とかそういうスキルもいろいろ持ってる。ハイテーブルって言われるタクティカルガードスワットみたいな見た目の人たちは銃弾が
Richard has a very stylish vision of movies, and I know how important this costume for him is. And that's really invaluable, working with a director that thinks that costumes are very, very important to play in the story of the movie. I love fashion and wardrobe and playing with that. And Keanu and I discussed it ad nauseum many, many times. John Wick doesn't know he's in a movie. John Wick believes he is John Wick. And Keanu puts on the suit, he believes he is that guy. Like, that's the anchor. A man has to look his best when it's time to get married or buried. <laughs>